these are questions for which, with all our knowledge, we have no sure answers. What do you think? Episode 190, Zodiac Killer Case, Suspects. Hey, as you can tell, this episode is a little different, and I'm going to present just a few suspects, new suspects, to the murder of Sherry Jo Bates. And before I begin with my list, Let's stop the music, and I will tell you about Riverside Poly High School, how it used to be down below Riverside City College, and it moved in 1965 to another part of the town, and the college took over the grounds, the football field, and the old buildings to the high school. So suspect number one in this video is J-O-T-C instructor Ralph Hall who worked at Riverside Poly from 1960 to 1964. And I believe he lived in Chino, California. And here you can see Joseph C. Bates, Sherry's father, lived at 5552 Riverside Drive in Chino in 1958. And here you can see that Ralph Hall lived at 5925 Riverside Drive. And here you can see how close those two places are together. They're less than a half a mile away. And he lived in a trailer. And if you remember the typed confession letter, the language making her pay for the brush-offs that she had given me during the years prior, you can see that there might have been a connection for several years. So where did Sergeant Hall go after the 1964 school year? I don't know but I can speculate that he was deployed to Vietnam and served over there a year and a half, two years, and returned in October of 1966. And maybe he killed Sherry Jo Bates with the knife by the library. Our next suspect is Mike Egan. And he was a football player, a lineman. And here's a picture of his high school yearbook photo with his glasses on. And he attended the same school for a short period of time as Sherry Jo Bates in 1963. But he finished high school at Rubido. And um, he also attended Riverside City College a year before or two before Sherry Jo Bates and I believe was there when Sherry Jo Bates was murdered. And the connection between him and Sherry Jo, besides her being a cheerleader and him being on the football team, is his father worked at the Corona Naval Ordnance Laboratory along with Joseph Bates, Sherry's father. And at some point, he moved to Albany, New York. And this is the obituary or death notice for his mother, Anne. And I know from personal observation that many junior college football players don't take their studies seriously 
kick back in the back of the classroom and draw pictures and draw things on desks. And so Mike Egan definitely had the opportunity to write this poem on the desktop. And our last suspect of this video is quarterback Bob Hess. Now he would know Sherry Jo Bates from her being a cheerleader and him being the quarterback of the Riverside City College. And here you can see a picture of him on the team in 1966. And I have trouble letting go of that RH. So here in the index of the college yearbook, if you have good vision, you can see Robert Hess or Bob. And Robert Hess, RH, went to school with Sherry Jo Bates. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved. And remember, next weekend, the Zodiac Killer Case episode will be on Sunday night. Late, too. So I'll see you next weekend. First with a John Bonet video, then a Zodiac Killer video.